All right, guys, we're going to draw a little sloth together. And I want you guys to draw with me just like we do in art class all the time. And if you guys at any point need to stop the video or rewind it and see one part again, that's fine. Uh, but do your best to kind of follow along. Um, I gave everybody a little template. You can use that, but you don't have to. If you want to just follow these steps and just draw freehanded, that's fine. But I thought the template would help you um, get started. So you can just cut that out and trace around it, which you've done before. And here's mine already cut out. Um, and in this first picture, they've drawn some lines to kind of help um, you know where to draw the first lines. So I'm going to do that. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Just like one line down the middle and one line across. And draw it lightly because you're going to erase it later. And then I'm going to put my little sloth head right there. Yep. About there. And then the body just under that line. And then I'm going to trace around it. And then I'm going to draw the branch at the top. It's just two little curved lines. Also, not doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to draw the first leg, the bottom leg. up kind of like a loop around I don't like that and then the second leg right here and draw that up and then I'm gonna erase some lines I think. And then we're going to draw the hands. I just go this part right here, the red part. And we're just going to draw three little curved lines that are kind of rounded at the top and the bottom. And then draw a line down to there. Do the same thing here. Okay. And then we're going to work on the head a little bit. Draw his little fuzzy hair on top. Doesn't have to be exactly like theirs. If you want it to look a little different, that's okay. I make mine kind of different. And then we draw a little circle on the inside. Like that. And then we draw his cute little face. Got 
two little circle eyes. And then we'll And then if you want to draw some branches on your tree, that's kind of the last thing. But you don't have to draw leaves if you don't want to. That just adds a little bit more to the background. these lines and these lines so it looks like he's overlapping the branch I'm going to fix this curve a little bit. Okay. And then... That's not connecting. Okay. And then you're going to take your Sharpie. And you're going to go over all your lines. Just like we've done with a lot of our other projects. And from here, you can start coloring him. Coloring his eyes black with my Sharpie. And his little nose. 
And you guys um, can use other colors than what I'm doing. I'm just doing what they did in the finished picture. Just try really hard to stay in your lines and push down hard enough that your color shows up nice and bright and vibrant. my branch to be a little bit lighter so I'm just not going to push down as hard with my pencil and I'm going to use the side instead of the tip since I'm filling in a bigger space. I get a little bit of a different texture too. It's also a good idea to always color in one direction, if you can, instead of all different directions, you'll have a much smoother surface like what they've got here. face they kept white but I'm gonna do some brown take my darker brown and color his eye around his eyes my darker brown where his hands are I'll color with my lighter brown and I'm not going to push down too hard. My sloth is going to have a purple background instead of blue, but that's okay. I'm coloring pretty lightly. Out from the sloth. 